Cars in Ethiopia are not only very expensive, they actually never lose their value. Cars that are more than 20 years old can easily cost $10,000 or more. So being in the Ethiopian car business is very lucrative. It's also good for hobbyist Bayou Siyum. He has a full-time job, but he enjoys fixing old cars like these ancient Volkswagen Beetles. Bayou repairs the cars in his spare time, and once he is done, he can sell them for $5,000. This car is 1971. When I first bought it from someone, it was in, uh, not been driven for about four years. And then by the time I saw it, they were almost looking someone to take it away for free. But I paid a little money, maybe 1,000 bear, which is uh, 50, 50 dollar. With old cars already going for such a high price, newer cars cost tens of thousands of dollars. Meaning that in a country where a third of the population lives below the poverty line, only few can afford a car, says car broker Getanet Eshetu. Businessmen bring the cars from outside and the guy asks for the money, take over the cars in Ethiopia. People with low income will probably never buy a car until so their income goes up. So poor people can't buy. The reason for the high price of personal cars? Taxes. Almost all cars are imported and customs will add up five different kinds of taxes, meaning that for every personal car, taxes start from 125% of the value up to 244% of the value. You will likely pay more in taxes for a personal car than for the vehicle itself. Ahmed Yassin of the Ethiopian Refugees and Customs Authority says there's a reason for the tax policy. The luxury goods should be taxed higher than the consumer goods. And these automobiles are uh, uh, categorized as a luxury goods. So uh, this is the main reason. And the other uh, reason is the uh, government uh, uh, has to collect re uh, revenue to uh, cover the cost of expenditures which are uh, uh, expended for the developmental workers. Different rules and lower taxes apply for cars used for industry or business. But while one might be stuck in traffic jams in the capital city, the overall number of personal cars was only just above 100,000 in the year 2012, for a population of more than 90 million people. Marte van der Wolf, for VOA News, Addis Ababa.